Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg, and today we're gonna be going over seven tips for you to have a more eco-friendly Thanksgiving. Now, I have hosted Thanksgiving for the last five years. I absolutely love to host. I love to cook for my friends and my family and have everyone come over. However, obviously it can be a little bit stressful. Uh, my first tip is to make a plan. I try to keep things really, really simple because I tend to go overboard. I love to entertain. I love to go all out. I love to decorate. I have always dreamed of like being Martha Stewart. So I, <laughs> just have this habit of where I just make everything way bigger and way more complicated than it should be. If you're anything like me, my recommendation is to scale it back. So I try to do one main and then have four sides, some rolls and one dessert. And that's it. It makes my job so much more simple instead of trying to make all of these dishes. Now I have all of my favorite dishes compiled in an ebook, which I will link down below if you're interested in that. It comes with all of my favorite recipes as well as timing on when to start it and how I prepare. Because my second tip is to keep it simple. My rule is this 80% simple and then 20% wow factor. And that's because when you are living a zero waste lifestyle, you probably aren't buying a lot of things in packaging, which means convenience goes right out the window. So you're having to make a lot more from scratch. And so by trying to keep 80% of my food simple and focusing on the ingredients that are in season and that are just so beautiful and don't there's not a lot that needs to be done to them because they are just there and they're wonderful. And instead of trying to make a casserole, which the first year I did, I made a casserole for everything. It was just so labor intensive. So instead I've scaled back. So it's just about, I like to make a roasted vegetable medley with like all of these root vegetables and I just chop and dice and roast them and let them shine in all of their glory. Instead of doing a green bean casserole, maybe just blanch some green beans and just like make them really beautiful, mashed potatoes, just try and keep your sides simple so that way you're cutting a lot of your work out. My third tip is to prepare yourself. I hoard glass jars and I have a whole video on how to remove labels from glass jars if you're interested on in checking that out. I know that this time of year there are going to be a lot of leftovers and I wanna send people home with leftovers because I don't wanna be stuck with all of that food waste. On average, waste increases 25% from Thanksgiving to New Year's and a lot of that is food waste because we either don't have enough ways to store it we get sick of eating it, so it goes bad before we can use it all up. And one of the best ways is to send people home, and I do that by saving glass jars so I can pack all of those leftovers for them. And I also ask my guests to bring their own containers. And if you are a guest going to attend Thanksgiving this year, remember to pack just a small tiffin or a Tupperware or something that you can bring home leftovers with you and so you can enjoy them and help the host take care of some of those leftovers they might have. My fourth tip, if you are hosting this year, is just to know how many portions you should be serving. So I am an overbuyer. I'm sure a lot of people are overbuyers. So much food goes to waste, like we were talking about, simply because we're so afraid of running out of food. So I have a huge, huge list that I'm going to read, because I don't know all of it off the top of my head, about the appropriate portion serving size per guest that you have. On average, for each guest, you should have three quarters cup of stuffing, you should have one bottle of wine, half a pound of potatoes, a third of a cup of each side, like your vegetables or a casserole, anything like that, one and a half pounds of bone in turkey, or I personally really like to have vegetable mains, and I will link to the recipes that I have on my blog. They are beautiful. There is one that is a whole roasted head of cauliflower that's absolutely gorgeous, and I'd recommend one of those for every two people, or having a stuffed acorn squash, and once again, one acorn squash should feed two people. I will have those recipes down below if you're interested in checking them out. Two rolls, a quarter cup of cranberry sauce, five hors d'oeuvres bites, and then a slice of pie. The recommended is one slice of pie, but honestly, I think everyone needs two pieces of pie or three. I will also have these typed up and listed down below in case you wanna reference that while you're preparing your Thanksgiving meal. 
And my last three tips include shopping decor and lastly, food waste. So when it comes to shopping, try to prioritize materials that aren't wrapped in single use items. I love to go to the farmer's market because that's where I find the freshest, most in-season produce. I love my fall farmer's markets. There's so many amazing vegetables that are available as well as fruits. If you're interested in making something like an apple pie or a pear pie or a pear tart, that would be absolutely delicious. I've also started doing maple vanilla roasted pears in the morning for breakfast. Oh, they are so good. When it comes to decor, I always make sure that I'm using real plates and real cloth napkins, and I love to decorate with nature. Pumpkins are a great way to decorate. I love having pumpkins. I have so many pumpkins in my house right now. I got them all for Halloween. I don't carve them, I just leave them in all of their natural beauty. But as soon as Thanksgiving is over, you can bet I'm going to cook those pumpkins up, and I am so excited to have some delicious pumpkin pie. If you blend tofu and then homemade pumpkin together, you can make this amazing vegan pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh. It is so, so good. I'm making myself so hungry right now. <laughs> I wanna eat all of these things. I have a full blog post though on what to do and how to cook a whole pumpkin with 12 other recipes, and I will link that down below as well. And then lastly, avoiding food waste. Making sure that your guests come over and are prepared to take home leftovers, and then just making sure that you're buying the appropriate amount of food. And if you have anything left over, you can try and find new recipes to reuse those ingredients. And then check out a, an app like Olio where you can share, share food that might go to waste with your neighbors and make sure that it's being eaten instead of being thrown away. Those are my seven tips for you to have a more eco-friendly Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Press that big red subscribe button to be notified when new videos are coming out. And I will see you in a video next week. Mm -hmm.